What's your thoughts on WeWork going forward? It's funny, Chris, because I'm sure you remember WeWork being as toxic as I do, right? But Massa really, you know, doubled down on this thing. He put his top lieutenant, Marcelo Clower, in charge. He remains the executive chairman. And they cleaned this thing up. They took a lot of costs out. And what I'm seeing in there is positive EBITDA at the end of this year, which is really something. I mean, it's night and day compared to what we were looking at back when Adam was at the helm. And Adam's completely out, as you guys know. So I mean, I look, I mean, Chris, I think that there probably is some structural tailwind pushing this company because people are not just going to go back and rent a massive office for five years, right? People are going to kind of creep back into it. At least that's what my company's plan is, right? So I think that there's probably a lot of demand for this. And I think that these guys are disciplined. I haven't dug into the corporate governance, but presumably, well... (laughs) It would be pretty tough for it not to be better than it was under Adam. But, you know, as long as that all checks out, I mean, I actually think this could trade well. It's a decent business. I think that, you know, everyone remembers it as being a train wreck, but that was really specific to to Adam, frankly. And Masa is no dummy. He's one of the best investors, you know, of our generation, probably. And, you know, I think they put his best guy in there to clean the thing up. So it actually looks pretty good to me.